Hi, welcome on this presentation about preventing Legionnaire's disease. During, my name is Mario Bellavance, and I will teach you about that topic. Uh, during the weekend, I went uh, to the movie theater and I saw uh, the movie, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Top Gun. So today, the title of my presentation will be Top Gun Against Legionnaire's Disease. And uh, I will teach you lesson about that. And first, I did my, uh, my, my learning in Quebec uh, 10 years ago when there was uh, an outbreak. And from that time, I work on it. So I had that lesson and I just finished that book in French, which says, uh, Maladie du Légionnaire, mieux vaut prévenir que guérir. So you will have it uh, in a really simple way. And I will teach you lesson that will mean uh, death and life for people, innocent people that you may protect from Legionnaire's disease because you are a cooling tower operator, manager, or owner. This is you I, I, I uh, just uh, talked to. And uh, believe me, you will learn something. And uh, if uh, you, uh, you went and see that, uh, that movie, you will understand what means uh, life and death. So this is the, the main point, you know, you are the top gun, you are the one responsible to save life. And don't worry about that. So when we talk about, uh, 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 well, uh, just my mind is somewhere else. <laughs> And I want to speak with you, you know, directly because I want to be authentic. I don't want, uh, you know, that you see something on a paper that I wrote and say, is the one uh, who write it? Yes, I am. And you can see it right in my eyes. And this is the way I want to address you on this great problem of preventing Lesnay's disease. And uh, I think I have something to do with it because I had the experience on the field. And this is what is the meaning, because we have the knowledge. It's about 45 or 46 years that we talk about Lefnay's disease. Now, it's not a mystery for anyone. It's really a simple thing. So now it's just about applying it. So what I will talk about uh, the, the subject is what is negligent? Because this is the main point. When someone contracts Lesnay's disease, then an inquiry start up uh, within the hospital and they try to find what is the source. And as uh, when the source is identified, then the liar, the attorney, uh, they will just uh, try to protect their uh, victim and uh, put uh, you know damage and uh, you no know, uh, lawsuit against those who are responsible or negligent. So what is negligent? To my view, being a negligent is not someone like an operator who's lazy, not doing his work, uh, or something like that. Uh, it's an easy way to. Uh, Find what is a negligent operator. You know, an uh, operator can be really, really busy for all sort of thing. And I think most of you are. So you can have a mandate to uh, no lower the exploitation uh, 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 cost uh, while uh, doing uh, energy saving. You can have, uh, you know, uh, a mandate to uh, protect the environment by also the uh, energy saving or using chemical and all these things. So after, you know, you have all these uh, points, uh, you may just forget the number one uh, task that someone has to take care of, 
which is safety. Because when you have uh, the responsibility of a cooling tower is connected to a uh, listener's disease, and for that reason, you cannot forget or uh, neglect or ignore uh, this point. And you have to make it your first priority uh, on your uh, uh, order of the day. Because if you don't do that, you may be in trouble. You can uh, have like a gold medal because you save money and uh, you did uh, great things. That's great. Uh, anyone has to do that. But if you don't protect, you know, uh, your, your building, you will be in trouble. So this is the, the main point. Watch is negligent. And I have, uh, you know, just keep it in mind. When a father forget his uh, baby within a car and he died because that happened, he was not negligent at all. He was too busy in his head, too much thing. Then he forget the number first thing that he had to do, which was to protect the life of his own blood and uh, his own uh, person. So, you know, I think this is the, the great uh, uh, you know, thing that you have in mind. Don't be just like this father. Take the priority, the safety. Second point that I want to discuss with you, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I have to tell you, if you want to do more, just uh, buy that book, Visioner's Disease for Safer City, Shift the Paradigm. It means that shift to safety. And that will be a great lesson for you. And uh, I hope you will like that. Just tell me. Second point, you know, uh, there's a, I've been a, an outbreak uh, in uh, New Brunswick, Moncton. And uh, recently the government uh, adopted a bill. And I have it right here. You know, it's the bill 91. And uh, I had a, you know, really first look at it. And uh, we can say uh, it's an act to attend amend the Public Health Act. And let's see, you know, a few words about that. Uh, they talk about water circulation system. It's uh, really amazing that they don't call, uh, they don't uh, specify about uh, cooling tower system uh, because this is the one who uh, uh, infect the people uh, in nine, two, two, uh, 2019. So uh, I think uh, th that would be really a good, uh, you know, specific point. And then they, they talk about the lessons to operate a, a water a circulation system. I don't know if they will uh, need a, a license for the people who take the water in the, in the you know, uh, like a, a glass of water, but uh, this is circulation of water and uh, some things that are already uh, in their own way. So uh, if I'm laughing at that, I'm not laughing because they, they have responsibility, but uh, I think uh, these people need uh, teaching. And this is why I will teach you what's, what is negligent in all these things, because they do, they do work. I, I told you, uh, being negligent doesn't mean that you don't work. They work. They, are, they have attorneys, they have uh, politicians, uh, you have uh, the people who represent uh, the people over there who think about that. But these people are negligent they, maybe because they are just ignorant. Because sometimes I told you, it's not being a, a doctor to know what's happening in a building. But sometimes it's some, the doctor, the attorneys, and uh, the politician who decided, I don't know who coached them, but it's not me for sure. Because I would say to them that don't write too, too much. Okay, this is good to have a register for, you know, having a rapid uh, uh, answer when something happening uh, are in an area, but uh, it's not enough. Let's see if I change my, uh, my background. Uh, I will have a new a new one because I want to show you something. Let's see something like that. So is it not a nice place, uh, you know, with the beach and all, all this, that, this thing, the trees and uh, 
you know, it's clean and everything uh, uh, outside. And uh, I don't show you that to get lazy. I show you that to keep being wise about looking at the right thing. So the government is okay because uh, if they have like a, uh, let's see, anyway, the building like behind me, uh, who can uh, know that there's a cooling tower for that building? No one. So this is why, you know, the government needs uh, a license. Then they can tell them, hey, there's a, an outbreak around. Look at your cooling tower because uh, it can, if something happened. So this is great. But when that is said in it, they have no words about the number one thing, which is a risk management program. This is the main point which people, they don't have to neglect at all. When you have a cooling tower, you need a risk management program. It's not me who's saying that. It's about the ASHRAE 1 in 8. It took 10 years to the people who are the expert in the, in the field who, uh, you know, gave birth to that standard. And uh, there's uh, some, some people then neglecting to tell the people that number one thing when you have a cooling tower system is to have a risk management program. So I'm telling you and I'm telling the government that they should take care about that point because it doesn't matter how many pages you have in your uh, bill. Uh, you have to say the right thing and then it's sometimes so simple that, you know, attorney and all these people uh, it's too uh, difficult. It has to be really difficult for the people because after that one, everything is confused. Uh, no one uh, can say, then you, you will be guilty as an operator. So you are the operator. Just uh, don't take care about this thing. Uh, do a risk management program. And then what is a negligent uh, manufacturer? I will show you one thing here. Uh, let's see changing the virtual background once again. Here it is. For those uh, who wants to know, uh, it's just like the one is the just like the one uh, on my uh, my book here, but a different different angle. You can see the car the garbage, you know, the locker, uh, you know, the, even the light. And right here, you see the cooling tower. It's amazing that the cooling tower have been installed in, in uh, that way. You know, uh, first, you know, it, it, it should not never uh, such a thing because even a dryer, you don't put your dryer in your apartment to blow the uh, uh, the air inside your apartment because uh, you will see that everything will get wet. So uh, even for a cooling tower, a hundred uh, times a dryer, oh, it can be installed there. Uh, it's just a mystery because this is negligence. And you know, it's such a negligence that you can see here is a warning from the company, which uh, is a uh, Mali SPX, and they are saying nothing about risk management program, risk analysis. They talk about uh, biocid, they talk about, you know, maintenance, but they never talk about the way it has to be installed. We try, you know, with my uh, customer to connect with this company and show them they are negligent and they don't uh, want uh, to uh, answer us. So I, I will show you uh, it, you know, right, right in front uh, of you, right in the, in the screen here, that is just amazing that these people keep silence on that. You know, negligence, you know, it's not only about the operator, the lazy operator, it's about, you know, uh, people uh, like this uh, government who don't say a word about uh, risk management, it's about, you know, uh, the manufacturer who don't say nothing about risk management and uh, don't be negligent. This is the life and death uh, lesson that I had to uh, teach you today 
as uh, you know the Top Gun uh, I saw this weekend, which was really inspiring for me because you know uh, it's a life and death for innocent people because if we don't take and do uh, the right thing right at the beginning uh, nothing will happen from that so I hope you like that and uh, I have you know a webinar I, have, I can coach you uh, in specific tasks don't worry I have everything to help you and do the best with your cooling tower Thank you.